What's going on 3DMJers? Eric Helms here and today I want to talk to you about the app for the iPhone Fit Genie. Uh, Fit Genie is something I've had the honor of collaborating with, uh, collaborating on with the Citadel Nutrition team as well as some awesome guys out of Georgia Tech University um, who are just really killing it and very smart in this field. I'm not an app programmer myself uh, but I am the main nutrition consultant uh, who's helped set up this app. So Fit Genie is essentially an intelligent uh, nutrition tracker. So like other nutrition trackers on the market, they help you determine, you know, baseline intakes and then allow you to track, you know, body weight and nutrition. This does that, but it also uh, updates and modifies uh, your macronutrient targets and calorie intake over time uh, based upon how quickly you are or aren't getting to your goals uh, and your personal preferences and your adherence. Uh, so we're going to talk about how Fit Genie works in depth in this video. So first, there's one of two algorithms. It's the baseline algorithm. This is how we determine uh, your initial, you know, nutrition goals. And this is primarily based on uh, my nutrition uh, pyramid, uh, the muscle and strength nutrition pyramid. If this is not something you're familiar with, I highly recommend uh, you watch the video series. It's six parts, and I cover everything you could want to know about setting up your nutrition uh, and for, for the goals of gaining muscle or strength. Um, in brief, let's go over it. It's basically an, a hierarchy of importance. So at the foundational level, we have the most important things. This is the foundation of the pyramid, uh, the things that are most important, and the other levels you know, wouldn't be built if there wasn't a foundation, right? So at the bottom, we have uh, calories in, calories out, uh, basically your energy balance, and this is what dictates uh, you know, changes in body weight. Uh, and this also comes down to rate of body weight change, which will also uh, have a large influence on the body composition changes you see. Above that are where calories come from. That's the macronutrients, protein, carbohydrate, and fat, and also fiber, which is part of carbohydrates. And these also dictate body composition changes. Uh, and then above that, we start getting into our slightly less important levels, like micronutrients, our vitamins and minerals, uh, and then nutrient timing, things like uh, peri-workout nutrition, uh, a refeed schedule if you're using that, and also meal frequency per day. And then finally, and least importantly, is supplements. Uh, where Fit Genie helps you is in uh, selecting and modifying basically the bottom two levels of the pyramid, uh, primarily. Um, but it does have some small influence as you get slightly higher in the, in the pyramid. So let's talk about how that works. Essentially, there's, there's two algorithms, like I stated. Uh, the first one, the baseline algorithm, is in place to take your inputs and turn that into a maintenance estimation of your calorie intake. So this is determined by your visual assessment of your body fat, and there's a you know, part of the app is to help you determine that. Your body weight, your sex, your height, and also your current activity levels. Now, of course, this is just an estimation. It's as accurate as you are with putting in the information and how aware of you are yourself and, and how well you can gauge that. But also, there's a huge amount of individual variability here. Uh, so a nice thing that's built into Fit Genie is that if you have done uh, you know, baseline tracking of your calorie intake and your weight, and you see that you are you know, a very high uh, calorie expender, or you are pretty uh, low on that on that end, you can always edit what we give you as a baseline uh, with Fit Genie. So you can modify those things if you've done some tracking on your own, um, or you can just go with the maintenance provided, and it will also try to help that, help you change those over time to meet your goals, which we'll talk about after we're done discussing the baseline. So uh, the baseline algorithm sets up your starting calories, and that's determined based uh, not only on those initial parameters, but also what your goal is. Uh, so obviously, if you're trying to lose weight, you're going to be in a calorie deficit. If you're trying to gain weight, you're going to be in a surplus. Now, the size of that surplus or deficit is also going to be based on your body composition. Obviously, the more body fat you have to lose, the faster you can lose it. Uh, the leaner you are, the slower you can lose it. And if you try to lose it too quickly, you can risk lean body mass losses. Also, uh, we think about your deadline of your goals. Uh, obviously, if you have a goal that's very far away, you can lose slower. If it's very uh, close, you have to lose a little bit faster. Uh, and also other parameters, uh, which have to do specifically uh, with what we think your training age is based on our estimation of your fat-free mass or lean body mass, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, so finally, and, and very importantly, as we assess your preferences, and this is because adherence is the most important thing in any, any nutrition uh, plan. 
you know, if, if it's something you can't adhere to, you won't get your get to your goal regardless of how quote unquote optimal your nutrition plan is set up. So we always take into account your preferences because there's definitely a leeway and a continuum over which optimal can occur. You know, if, if protein is, is at an appropriate amount, you definitely have leeway within your fat and carbohydrate intake. And uh, so those types of things Fit Genie takes into account so that you can have a more customized nutritional approach. Now, after you've gotten your baseline set up, then we have an algorithm that is, that's, this is the very intelligent part of the app, where it adjusts uh, your macronutrient targets and calorie intake uh, over time to help you reach your goals in the most effective way possible. So, uh, the first thing we do is we determine an ideal maximum and minimum weight loss rate uh, for either weight loss or weight gain, and that's depending on your goals. So that means how much you have to lose or how much you're trying to gain. And these rates are primarily dependent on your body composition. As I stated before, if you have a higher body fat level, you can lose at a faster rate. If it's lower, you should lose slower. And likewise, the rate at which you should gain weight should be dependent on your training age, how close you are to your genetic ceiling uh, for muscle mass. And we have a pretty cool way of trying to deter determine this, and it's based on your body composition estimate. So we take your height, your weight, uh, your body comp estimate, and then we use some research uh, from Dr. Hall, uh, who is a prolific um, you know, nutrition and body composition researcher. And we basically use a, uh, an, an equation, and a curvilinear line, to try to fit a, uh, what we think uh, your lean body mass is, determining the ener energy density of it over time, and, and therefore trying to derive, you know, an optimal uh, rate of weight change. So, um, in addition to that, we look at how consistent you are. So that means that you're going to be reporting to us, uh, you know, changes in body weight as you record your weight, and you'll be talking about and entering how it, how much you adhered to the program, uh, and and how far off from your target macronutrients you were. And then Fit Genie will compromise with you and try to move you to a place, even if you are unable to adhere to the initial values given, uh, it'll try to compromise and find something uh, that will keep you uh, still on track while kind of compromising with what your natural tendencies are. So as you, you know, exceed or, or fall short of macronutrient targets while keeping in mind the rate at which you still need to lose or gain to reach your goal and where you're at currently, there will be some adjustment of the macronutrients targets. In addition to that, we also evaluate a cluster of weeks to get good data. So if you've ever weighed yourself on a regular basis, you might see that there's a natural variation in your body weight. And this is because water weight fluctuations and you know the amount of weight of food in your gut and the amount of sodium in your diet and other things all can affect acute weigh-ins. So Fit Genie looks at an average of, uh, of your weigh-ins and then looks at multiple weeks of data to make sure that the trend is real and we're not just chasing ghosts. So this is uh, why Fit Genie uses a cluster of weeks, three weeks, and how they trend together and compared to previous weeks to make an assessment of whether or not there should be a change made to your diet. And, and, and this whole way through, we're looking at your entries and we're trying to get uh, an idea of what your preferences are and also whether there's changes in your energy expenditure, which we can derive from uh, your entries of body weight and also uh, other factors. And then the whole way through, we're going to be asking you how you feel. What are your hunger levels? What are your fatigue levels? If you're just barely holding on to the diet uh, by a thread and while you're adhering, you're constantly reporting that you're very hungry and you're very fatigued, Fit Genie will start adjusting the diet so that you're more likely to adhere to it over time. Um, and, and basically not pushing you to the point where the diet breaks you. And also we're constantly considering what is the pace that you need to reach your goal? So we take in these clusters of weeks, we take, in account, take into account your adherence, and then we look at the time we need to make uh, weight over if you're trying to gain weight or lose weight, and then all those are taken into account to make the necessary adjustments, or sometimes to not make an adjustment and just let things carry on in a successful way. So I know that's a lot of information to, to digest, and uh, only so much can be you know gotten out of a 10 minute video and some brief slides. So if you want more information, uh, definitely check out the blog post in the link below in the comments. And you can also direct uh, more technical questions and specific questions to the team at Fitgenie who actually did the programming. So you wanna talk to Obi, uh, he's the man. Uh, and you can contact him through the website or you can definitely check out the Fitgenie Instagram or their Facebook page. Anyway, thank you for your time. Definitely download it. It's free, if I didn't mention that before. Uh, and you can try it out and see how it works.